welcome back guys today we are going to solve lit code problems 1796 second largest digit in a string given an alphanumeric string s return the second largest numerical digit that appears in s or minus one if it does not exist an alphanumeric string is a string consisting of lowercase english letters and digits so for example like this right so some digits are there like here and some English letters are there, small, lowercase. So we have to find out the second largest digit in this string. So let's just take this example over here quickly. So uh, how we are going to solve this problem is using a priority queue. So uh, we will take a pointer first. Uh, this is a string, so uh, we will take a pointer. It will point to 0th character in the string and we will be iterating the whole string this is a uh, let's say n is the total number of characters so all the digits all the characters we will uh, iterate and we will keep checking if the character we are on is it is a digit or not if it is a digit so zero then we will go here one then we will go here two then we will go here three so as soon as we see a digit we will check if this character is a digit yes then we will put that character into our priority queue here right and we will also maintain a set here right set of integers so this is a set of integers so we will also add the character in the set you know because there are there can be duplicate uh, digits in the string right so we will go here to then we will uh, check into the set it's not there so we will add it into the set and then we will add that same uh, digit into priority queue here right so one two and then um, uh, as you can see you know so when we are adding a two here then two will be in the front of the queue because this is a priority queue so always the largest element will be in the front so uh, we will go to the three then we will again check into the set there is no 3 into the set so we will add a 3 into our set and we will add it into priority queue so we will actually when we are adding into priority queue it goes automatically here so largest element is always on the front so uh, after that we you know we keep uh, checking 2 uh, then 1 so we will check it into the set right 2 is there 1 is there so we will not add it into priority queue because it's already there you know so afd we will not add anything because these are not uh, digits so at the uh, after we are done processing this string we will uh, check you know the size of the priority queue if the priority queue size is equal it if it is if this size is less than two right less than two then we are just going to return minus one in that case because there is no second largest element right if it is less than two if it is not the case means it is uh, greater than or equal to 2 then we have a second largest element to return so in that case we will just pull the first element from the priority queue and then we will again pull the second element from the priority queue and we will return this second element as our answer right so as you can see here the 2 is the answer that is how uh, we got the 2 here so this is a, a very simple solution of uh, you know we can implement using priority queue and set so i took both these examples over here so um, let's first quickly uh, go through this implementation that we discussed so we took a set here which is set of integers then we took a priority queue of integers now here we are uh, using b minus a right because we want the priority queue to be like in a decreasing order so highest element will be always on the top basically and then we took a pointer that we will be like iterating through all these uh, n characters of the string and we will keep checking if the d if the character we are on is a digit you know there is a method called as is, is digit in the character class so we will use that and then we will check first if it is in if uh, set does not contain that character then we will add it to priority queue so uh, whenever we have a character and we want to convert it into integer then we have to just uh, use it like this you know minus and then uh, zero here so it actually converts the character into a corresponding integer so that's what we are doing 
here so after the loop is over we will just check the queue size if it is less than 2 we will return one, minus 1 otherwise we will uh, return the second highest element here right we will fall and return second highest element so these test cases let's just execute quickly and make sure it works uh, so yeah so we are seeing the correct answer here um, so for the second example we don't have any second highest element there is only one element uh, one here right that's why we are returning minus one so let's submit this solution so the solution works uh, so this is how we can solve the second largest digit in a string so uh, if you like the solution subscribe to my channel and click the like button i often uh, create videos related to you know lead code problem solutions as well as uh, related to java j2e related interview questions for junior mid level and senior java developers so if you uh, are interested in this stuff please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching the video